welcome you all today we'll see the fluid flow simulation in pipe having sudden enlargement so first of all start with the ansys workbench so this is ansys 2022 release 1 version or you can start with the version which is installed on your system So first of all starting with the fluid flow fluent we are consider considering the analysis system you can individually take the component system also but I am proceeding with the analysis system so out of this analysis system uh, geometry we have two options when it is new space claim and second one is a design model so I am selecting the design model So this design modeler window will open in that case you have to click on any one of the lane so that this plane will be visible so x is your red green is your y z is your blue so click on this plane make it look at or keep it like this so first of all to create a primitive so prepare a cylinder okay sorry i need to select the unit first make it start over so first of all select the units I will select centimeter and then create a primitive say for example it is cylinder so you can see a cylinder has been generated over here this is in the z direction I don't want this object to be in z direction I want in x direction so I will specify this x will make z component to be equal to 0 just check it out how the object is looking like right now now I want this to be a sudden contraction sorry uh, I want this to be sudden enlargement so accordingly I will try to prepare the geometry say for example this is my 10 as it is then x component I will specify say for example 40 centimeter so this is on the right hand side part for my object now make it frozen and let's generate so this is the object which has been generated so we are interested in sudden enlargement so one more time I am going to create a primitive so cylinder again check out the orientation of cylinder it is in z direction I don't want this to be in z direction I want in x direction so we will change accordingly now as we are interested in sudden enlargement we will take somewhat smaller diameter over here but the orientation which I want it should be in the other direction like this over here so you can specify it minus 40 also the way we had done for the earlier case so make it add to frozen and let's make it generate so this is one object we have generated and this is a solid and this is one another one so I am going to make this as a boolean operation why boolean operation because I want to ensure that there is no such errors while doing the field operation so make it unite and let's click on generate so once this has been generated you can see this is a solid object now I need to transform this solid object into a hollow section so what I will do is I will select thin surface so I will check out this option faces to keep and I will select the faces these two faces simultaneously I have to select this face also so make it apply so this is how the object will look like and let's make it generate so whatever thickness you want accordingly you can take so I selected 0.5 so you can see the object has been generated over here with sudden enlargement you can see the object from inside also over here so one more time you have to do one operation which is called as fill so go to tool option then you will see fill select the internal faces so this one this one and this one so I have selected all the three internal faces and make it apply so we are filling the cavity so second portion is our fluid so rename this portion say for example I have water now next one this is again I am considering this as a pipe wall say for example here I have pipe wall say pipe wall 
so likewise you can give you the name so this is water the fluid zone and second one it is your pipe wall now next part will be to generate mesh so let's move to the second part that is related to your mesh so here the object has been generated now i will generate a default mesh why default mesh i can later on change the mesh also but to reduce the computational time i take this as a default mesh uh, for your analysis for accurate result you can modify your mesh as per your requirement so we'll check out this component over here so we'll specify this face as inlet over here so specify inlet then specify outlet then specify this as a wall so make it as a pipe wall okay so one more time make it update you will see a message the mesh translation to fluent is successful now you can close meshing then go to the next part which is related to your setup click on this so depending on number of processes that your computer can run i have selected four So here we have the next part so you can see the arrows which are going out so we are subjected to first one smaller pipe then we have larger pipe so again specifying to gravity minus 9.81 so here just check it out y direction and accordingly proceed i am not applying any temperature so i am not selecting the transient one model i will not make any change then i will make change in the material I will select the fluid that is water. You can see water liquid over here. Similarly, if you want, you can select the different material over here. So if you want to visualize the titles, you can click on this. Then select the reference, sorry, boundary conditions. At inlet, I have to apply some boundary condition say for example I am applying the velocity is equal to 1 meter per second then close this then go to the reference values tell the computer from where to start I will say inlet again zone will be your water then go to your initialization so stake out standard initialization make it inlet and make it initialize then go to the calculation activities specify 20 so this is useful when you are running the long iteration if you are running this uh, we can say simple simulation like this so this may not be that much of useful but if you are running the simulation maybe for two or three days so this will be very important next one we are going for graphics so in that case what i want to visualize accordingly i will select so i want to visualize velocity inlet outlet and then i have to visualize on your pipe wall so make it save display and just check it out how your object is so make it pulse if you want to visualize the things uh, how the fluid flow is been taking place so this is very helpful you can stop it and close this window now next thing is go to the calculation activities so here i am specifying say for example 500 over here now you can start your calculation this calculation can take some time depending on your system configuration 
depends on the CPU speed of your computer. Okay, so this has been completed. Now you can go to the workbench window again and see your result part. So again, uh, select on your pipe wall, make it transparent one. So I'm specifying the transparency, say 0.9 over here. One more time, you have pipe wall, select the transparency over there. Say for example, 0.9 make it here also set transparency 0.9 make it apply similarly at outlet also set transparency 0.9 make it apply so in this way we have prepared now next thing is we want to visualize the streamline so select the streamline from where to start select the inlet make it apply if you want to less fluid particle you can select this less than 25 also so this is the first thing which we have to do next thing is we want to visualize the thing okay one more thing that is left is legend so you can change this to fixed just check out what happens over here if you want you can take out the aspect ratio or change the size also say for example I take one you can change this size over here and make it like this number of entries can be also increased say for example I want 10 you can see some 10 values also so in this way this can be done now next thing is to visualize the animation so I have to select sweep animation then select this one make this as slow and just click on we can say the play animation you can see the fluid particles which are coming and they are leaving over here so when the fluid particles are coming to the large cross section you might observe the velocity has been decreased so this is a one thing which happens in case of your contraction so you can save this work by clicking on the save movie over here so maybe uh, sorry enlargement so we'll prepare one folder say for example enlargement so make it open save over there then you can make some slight adjustments with your settings then select the frame rates over here I'm clicking highest output directory you can select say for example enlargement so what happens when the fluid is flowing through such cross section that we are going to visualize so just check so what we can observe over here is the fluid particles initially they have higher velocity then once they are entering into the enlargement section we observed that velocity has been decreased as soon as the fluid particles are entering into the we say enlargement section so the variations in the velocity can be observed with the help of different color contours with the help of the particles which can be observed over there again a similar concept which we have observed the particles which are along the wall or near to the walls of the pipe they have some resistance to flow whereas the particles which are moving through the center they are moving with higher velocity so this is one thing which we can observe with the help of the velocity streamline on the screen so particles which are along the wall they have more resistance to flow the particles which are at center they have less resistance to flow and that's why you are able to see some of the particles are lagging whereas some of the particles are going ahead especially the particles which are at the center they are going ahead so you can see red balls shows the maximum velocity once it crosses the smaller section and enters the enlarged section you might observe again the variation in the velocity of each and every individual particle so you can see the color combinations are going to be changing over here 
for each and every fluid particle if you want you can visualize this with the help of more number of fluid particle also so the variation in the color can be easily been observed in the simulation which we are having so in this way we can have a fluid flow simulation which is taking place through a pipe which has subjected to sudden enlargement over here so first initially the pipe of smaller diameter then the pipe of larger diameter is there so such kind of pipe fittings are there at most of the places so how the fluid particle will behave when they are passing through such cross section that can be easily understood with the help of the simulation which we have shown over here so the simulation will run till the time all this fluid particle will exit from the outlet so the similar concept can be applicable for other geometries also we need to carefully prepare the geometry and accordingly we can try the simulation like this you can see the particles are disappearing so till the time last particle is present the simulation will run once the last particle crosses the outlet the simulation will stop and you can watch this simulation which is saved in document folder so you can see the disappearance of the particle only few are left so the last three are left so only one left okay so you can go back to your documents and just check it out with your enlargement so you can see the video file just check it out over here so you can see the video file how the fluid particles are behaving when they are passing through sudden enlargement section so this